Hi guys, how are you doing? Today, I would like to take the opportunity to update the last time that we prepared together photosynthetic. So what happening is that after one month, the color obviously changed and I would like to update with you that these are some of the colors that we have. And if behind me, you can see that is the variety of the uh, colors there, even up there that side. So. Last time when we do it, we using around 12 eggs and also 12 tablespoons of Ajinomoto and the 12 tablespoon of fish sauce. The resulting is that we get together about 92 bottles. Okay, so we don't need to use a lot actually about uh, one tablespoon plus because when I'm used two tablespoon, it's not even full. It's very little. All right. So what happened here, as you can see, why the color is just um, everything's the same, quantity of water, the hour of sunlight and also the same formula to put inside but however, the colors inside all these bottles are all different as you can see, some of them is uh, very obviously into the pinkish color after one month so from my experience, from this stage that you are seeing here, okay it gonna turn red really real quick one within a week you can see is the color is so sharp already so if it comes to this stage it's very very fast and some of them is still obviously is a little bit uh, yellowish it's not much of changes only getting a uh, darker color and might need give it a little bit of time so now if you prefer it to be about the same time to turning uh, ready to use what you can do is that actually you can mix this one to in order to make it a um, culture inside here to faster the process to make it easier and faster able to use okay and you might be seeing a little bit of this color that is turned almost green color this one some of the lot that i've been making what happened is that other majority of the bottles are turning red color but there might be a few like two or three bottles is turning green color so if you experiencing that you don't need to be panic about because actually green color is also can use exactly the same for those who is wondering how is this photosynthetics works actually you can see that we're using eggs as the main ingredient if you understand that uh, eggs they have this the the rotten egg gas kind of things inside here this is a food for the photosynthetic actually so normally uh, photosynthetics is to transform the uh, hydrogen sulfide into sulfur whereby it's compound to be the sulfate so the sulfate is not toxic to plants and in order to do that to digest and transform all these type of things it is uh, release out the hormones whereby it's a very good for plants so this is a kind of the principle that we are using it beyond the farming industry let's say for example those kind of the uh, dangerous gases that we having this photosynthetic will digest those and transform into carbon whereby when it comes to the carbon form it's uh, decomposed by itself for example another one is that it also will help to prevent the growth of the bacillus bacteria whereby it's a bad bacteria so with all this goodness and the, the, the way the technical things that how the photosynthetic works we making use of this in too many farms besides uh, what I'm about to share about uh, the farming it also can do for those uh, cleaning work like industrial that they need the wastewater treatment by putting it inside that water cleaning the gutter or even the animal farm for example animal farms are uh, intend to have a lot of the toxin gas or even the bacteria or even those the unhygienic so you can use this for the treatment beside the farming work so that is why because of this principle how it grow and how it happen so it's a variety of use really even uh, you can use it for the decomposing the EM that when you are doing certain certain things like when you want to do the treatment or soak the cow dung for example you might need to pour this into that water for maybe about one or two bottles depend on the quantity 
I often also using this to mix with the water and then I will just pour into my uh, compost pot those when I'm saying that I collecting a lot of the weed and the grass that the, the neighbor is cutting you know bags and all this so every time then I'm doing the compost I will using this maybe about two bottles or three bottles mixed with the water and then I will just pour on it so the process is much faster and also it prevents a lot of those bad bacteria to grow also okay we're talking about the farming benefit the farming benefit is really really wonderful it's really worth the effort for you to put in the effort to preparing this to use okay for the farming this photosynthesis is really a good promoting the nitrogen into the soil so in the, our organic matter we always believe that we put life back into soil that is the things about doing organic is totally different from chemical so when you put life into the soil like this photosynthetics how does it work it will help to change a lot of the the bad to good okay and help to promote the nitrogen the nitrogen is is a main uh, fertilizer that actually plants needs and the nitrogen is will work directly to show the greens of the vegetable or herbs that you are growing leaves part and all this is this is the main thing that is uh, will help talking about when you're using the photosynthetic with plants or vegetable even the plants that is have the very low sunlight it can grow well and it's increase the yield so for certain certain country if you having kind of the low hour of lighting i to use this one it will help you a lot and it's also help the plant to be stronger in the sense is that uh, how does this work it will promoting the plants the bark and the rooting system so it works directly with the rooting there are two two use for this one with plants okay i will explain to you shortly when you use with the soil and then when it go to the bark area and also the root those are very fine fine root a very busy busy root it promote the root to grow better when is the root growing better naturally the plants or your vegetable can find more food and when they can find more food the yields is increased the plants become more healthier and also resistant to all the diseases and beside that you can have the plants that is uh, when you harvesting it as a organic vegetable the taste will be good and it can actually keep and prolong the plants uh, or the vegetable uh, the lifespan means that you can understand certain people might saying that if you are using the chemical to grow the vegetable the vegetable can turn rot very easily but if it's uh, organic matter in fact the vegetable if you wrap with the paper and then you keep it in your shoulder one week later you open it up also it still look like as if it's a fresh cut like that so this is the thing that is helping so it prolong the lifespan that when you already harvesting your vegetable it can last longer Another thing that I would like to emphasize is that it's also helping to sorb the soil acidity also. And how we can use it actually for farming matter, for plants uh, or vegetable, those greens because it will help to fix the nitrogen in the soil. So what happening is that first you need to wait until it's ready. So from my experience, and I'm saying that uh, from this stage to turn into a very red color and very rich, it's going to be real quick. From this uh, pinkish, it can turn dark within maybe a week later, it's already ready. And you can keep it for some time, but if you keep it too long, cannot. What you can do is that uh, I try to solve the problem by still giving food into it by add maybe brown sugar, one tablespoon of brown sugar inside. If you keep more than three months, four months or a year, then that is a time you need to consider to add the food into this. But I would like you to to use a lot of it, you don't keep too many. What you can do is if you want to keep uh, several bottles, maybe when you're preparing, like what the way I share with you from the previous video, you can add those, it's already ready red color into it to cultivate it faster and also lush the progress to be faster. Using this is two ways. One is on the plants, on the vegetable itself by take out 100 cc of this photosynthetic mix with the water around 20 liter so when you mix 20 liter check well and then you can just actually spray or pour onto the leaves area how frequent you can do that 
can do very frequency is no harm to plants actually if you can do it alternate day also is fine three days once also is fine but you cannot do it maybe you combine with the others and then maybe you do it try try your best to do it once a week but commission wise i will uh, prefer you to do even the alternate day will be great and for the soy the formula a little bit different because you might need to increase a little bit to about 200 cc for 20 liter of the water and you can pour directly into the soil okay so the plants will take and use this differently and that is how it benefits the plants better and if you ask me um, you're using for the soil or is the leaf which one is better for the greens uh, like the lettuce, uh, kangkong, uh, gailan, those kind of the leafy leafy looks vegetable you want to see the better yield you can try to spray onto the leaves as well together with the using directly to the soil and these are also multiple uses of this fella so I would like you to try your best to culturing it but if you are not ready means that I am just want to uh, having it for my a very limited small garden or at balcony so it's not worth for me to put all this effort to come out just a quantity you can look for the Lazada or the Shopee on my Oka Fresh and then we will be putting it up soon for sales and if you want to be mercy to your nose you don't want to um, suffering on the progress of doing this and also I will suggest you should buy those who ever feel like I don't have the kind of magic hands to make it happen you follow the step that I share with you very carefully you will be able to have this result actually and what happened is um, if you want to buy a few bottles it's just for you to easier to cultivate this also to mix with whatever you are doing your own also is advisable all right that's it for today we know more how the principle of this photosynthetic work and how does this help in a variety of the industrial and also how does it benefit the farming industry as well this guy is a very very beneficial so i will encourage everyone to try your best to agriculture it and see the result for your own even your own garden use and also for the farming side, I would like to share the most important part of this photosynthetic is that you actually can reduce the fertilizer use in your plants if you use it regularly. That is mean you beside you have the good yield and the better yield increase your yield and also it will bring down the cost of the production cost that you have to spend for your farm. So when you having the lower cost, it means that you have the better profit. So certain certain effort and work for the organic uh, farm, you might need to really hands on and see the prioritize on it. Put time in it a little bit, put your heart in it a little bit and the result will come. Okay, um, that's it for today. <laughs> There is not much action today, we just like to share a little bit more to the information side and I will be seeing you next week video every Tuesday 1 o'clock upload in our My Oka Fish YouTube channel Hopefully please do like and share and subscribe our channel so good tips like this will deliver it to you weekly For today, thank you so much for staying with us and bye